Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Thursday, March 21st, 2024. Number one, in a court filing this week, New York Attorney General Letitia James stated that Donald Trump's request to appeal his civil fraud case should be rejected. In addition, the state's top lawyer said that if the former president cannot pay the $464 million judgment he owes by Monday, March 25th deadline, the court should hold his properties to use as payment. Last month, Trump was ordered by Judge Arthur Ingoran to pay $355 million plus interest for the ill-gotten gains in a civil fraud case brought by the Attorney General James. Number two, in a significant development reflecting broader challenges within the discount retail sector, Family Dollar and Dollar Tree have announced the closure of nearly 1,000 stores nationwide. Years of mismanagement, poor store conditions, and increased competition have plagued Family Dollar, which caters primarily to low-income customers in urban settings. The decision aims to improve profitability, but is likely to exacerbate existing shopping disparities, especially in areas with limited access to super supermarkets and other retail options. Number three, in our Life's Essential 8 series, today we discuss how to manage blood pressure. A diagnosis of high blood pressure must be confirmed by a medical professional. Healthcare professionals can take blood pressure readings and provide recommendations. Eating a healthy diet of fruits, vegetables, and lean animal proteins, getting exercise, and sleeping well are a few tips the American Heart Association recommends to monitor blood pressure. Read more about it in today's newsletter. Number four, troubling new data reveals that in the U.S., Black adult women are six times more likely to be killed than their white counterparts. A paper published in the Lancet Medical Journal analyzed homicide rates of black women ages 25 to 44 across 30 states. Homicides were classified in this study as death by shooting, piercing, cutting, and other forms of violence. Number five. It's Aries season, and Ms. Astrology joins us and shares that since Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, thus begins a new cycle, a cycle that takes with it the lessons of cycles past. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Just a reminder, regular exercise and a balanced diet are key components of good health. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with Ms. Astrology. It's Aries season, you know, and our mental health and wellness contributor, Aprilette Russell, as we discuss today's top headlines and more. I'm Sybil Wilkes. Be informed, be empowered.